Hey, what's up, boils and ghouls? Welcome back to the Knights of War. My name is Sam, and I will be your host today. Today, we'll be discussing all things Midsummer Scream, aka our No Before You Go. Tomorrow, Midsummer Scream kicks off. It'll be taking place this weekend, July 26th through the 28th. Beginning at Friday, 6 p.m., the entire convention will be open, including the Hall of Shadows and the show floor. Throughout the event, you can just see various panels, celebrities, presentations, and so, so much more. You may be asking yourself, how can I get a ticket? So at the time of this recording, uh, the weekend passes have all sold out. That includes both the gold bat and general admission weekend passes. So only single day tickets are available. And according to the Midsummer Scream website, they're expecting that at least Saturday will be selling out. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and grab your single day admission tickets as soon as possible. And you may be asking yourself, which ticket should I be going with? Um, because you now have to pick probably one of the days. So Friday, our recommendation is if you're looking to buy some stuff off of the show floor um, from the various vendors across the event, that's going to be the day that you're going to want to go. It's typically less of a packed crowd and more opportunity to find those items that you're seeking out since the event would have just opened. So the inventory for each of the vendors will probably be at its best on Friday evening. If you're looking to do as much as you can, Saturday is a day with the longest hours. Um, since that day, it'll be open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. for the general public. If you're a gold bat ticket holder, you know that you get it in an hour early on both Saturday and Sunday. Um, so if you're gold bat, that'll be 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So on Saturday, you can you can look forward to the Hall of Shadows continuing to be open, various vendors as always, um, celebrities, um, because I know that some celebrities are only going to be on there for certain days. Um, so go ahead and visit the Midsummer Scream website if you haven't done so already to see when those celebrities will be there, as well as if you can, go ahead and grab a, a professional photo op since that is offered by some of them, as well as some of them will offer their own uh, autographs and, and pictures you can take at their booth. Um, be prepared with both cash and or credit debit cards um, because depending on the person, they may have their desired pay. Um, so just be prepared for that. So, you know, be be flexible on that front. Um, and then Sunday, same thing as Saturday. The hours are just slightly shorter because the event will close at 6 p.m. Um, as well as with the caveat with it being the last day of the convention, maybe not all items will be available um, on the show floor. So just be prepared with that. Um, and so um, as mentioned with each of the panels, those are those are going to be packed. Uh, specifically, you can think of your big theme parks, not Scary Farm, 13th Floor, uh, and of course, last but certainly not least, Horror Nights. So if you are on that general admission ticket, plan to show up early for those presentations because they will most likely have a capacity and, and, and may even reach that capacity. Just full warning on that. So for each of those, show up early. Um, show up with some patience. Uh, and, and show some love to the white bats. Um, the white bats are the volunteers at the event. They're giving up their their time and, and energy to be there. So as always, show up with positivity, uh, because uh, exploring is, exploring attractions would say positivity is key. Um, and, and speaking of keeping that positive a attitude, after you buy those tickets, your next question may be, what about parking? Um, and so according to the Midsummer Screen website, there will be parking available at the convention center typically it's about 20 bucks um, and just be be forewarned you're going to probably want to show up early to get the best parking there are lots around the surrounding area um, where that you can purchase and they might be slightly cheaper but um, but they might be a little bit of a walk or whatever it may be but the parking at the convention center is 20 bucks um, and so you can probably expect about the same price for the lots around the area. With it being a high traffic event, specifically on Saturday and Sunday, just because it, you know, it's a great uh, opportunity to get in the Halloween spirit. Um, expect to expect to wait a little bit to park um, with the traffic. Um, and once again, just patience is key. 
keep it positive. Um, so our recommendation typically is just show up early um, and, and, you know, bring some water, bring a snack, be ready to stand in line uh, for a little while. So just show up early so that way you can get in. Uh, they do a really good job in, in years past of getting people in early, um, not in terms of like allowing them to access the show floor, uh, but there are various areas but with, with space inside of the convention center. So they usually do their best to try to get as many people inside in the air conditioning uh, based upon my weather report. It doesn't look like it's going to be too warm this weekend, uh, but do be prepared to stand out there uh, in the heat. Obviously, I'm coming from Arizona, um, so be prepared. I, I, the heat is not as, as bad as Arizona heat in Long Beach because we're right there near the beach. Um, with that, um, another thing you may be asking is like, what is the Hall of Shadows? What can we expect to see there? Um, on the Hall of Shadows, you can go ahead and expect to see various attractions, both small and large. With this year being the first year that Lionsgate is going to be doing their own attraction inside the Hall of Shadows, you can expect a long wait. The rumor mill is telling me that the Strangers will be a part of the Lionsgate presentation alongside other films like Soul. Um, so I'm super excited to see that. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know The Strangers is one of my favorite horror films. Um, so I'm super excited to see that brought to life. And you may be asking yourself, Sam, that's probably not a really good horror movie. Why do you love it so much? And the short answer is it's one of the most realistic horror films of all time. So I'm excited to see them bringing that to life. Another question you may be asking yourself, we got parking, we understand what's going on in terms of presentations, celebrity signings, vendors, Hall of Shadows, all of that. Can we bring anything inside um, and, and cosplays? So first we'll start with outside food and beverages. I know that I just recently recommended to bring a little snack, bring a little something to drink, stay hydrated, keep that energy high as you get there early. Um, so once you're inside of the convention, you will be unable to bring any outside food or beverage inside. Uh, the good news, though, is at this convention, they, they do plan for that. Um, there are various snack booths open throughout the event. And so bring a little extra cash to, to spend on that. Uh, the convention center does a good job of having a few different like drink uh, and, and snack and food areas, sandwiches, pizzas, a lot of cool stuff. Um, in addition, some of the vendors at the event also do sell um, cool little things. I know that there's like various desserts. There's this really cool tiki mug where you can get soda and, and get some refills on that. So there's a lot of cool stuff. In addition, across the street is uh like a, a really cool little promenade where they have little shops um, and food areas. So if you do want to venture outside, you can go to the little promenade. There's a cool little restaurant there. Last year I ate a like Waba Grill. I know that there's like an islands directly across the street and other food options. So if you want to eat during the event or are there after, you can, you can visit those. In addition, there are some food trucks that'll be planted right outside of the convention center. Um, and so those are another really cool option if you're looking to get some quick little bite to eat between walking the show floor, Hall of Shadows, and all of the panels and fun stuff. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that we missed? Ba ba ba. I don't think so. But if you do have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. Um, and we'll do our best to get to answer them. Obviously, with this being a day before Midsummer Scream, you know, we got to get our lives in order. But we're, we're here to, to chat and, and have all those good things. So if you do have a question, check the Midsummer Scream website. Go ahead and drop a question down below. Whatever it may be, you can also reach out to us on Instagram or uh, X, formerly known as Twitter. We're, we're pretty quick at responses there. So if you have anything you need, just let us know. Um, because mo first and foremost, we're, we're here to have a good time. Um, we think about this as a really just a gathering, a family gathering, being able to see friends from near and, and far. Me coming from out of it, out of state, it's always a great time to connect with people I haven't seen since last haunt season. So I'm super excited to be to see them um, and, 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 you know, make great lasting memories. If you see me or Tony or anyone else on the team, go ahead and stop us, say hi. We'd love to chat, take a picture, whatever it may be. Um, you maybe even go through a Hall of Shadows uh, little attraction if, if time permits. So don't be a stranger and we'll, and we'll be excited to see you all this weekend. Um, go ahead and drop 
a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, if you don't have any questions, drop a comment about what you're most excited for this weekend, um, and we'll be happy to read those. But if nothing else, we'll see y'all this weekend and have a great, great launch to the spooky season. Thank you.